ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ uh first of all thank you uh, ambassador dr seema for your very kind words and i think this will be very beneficial talk uh, to go over just to kind of outline the work that we were doing in ukraine as well from wolsic parliament and united six um naldi nal i'll be just giving an update on the welfare council as well um i'll try and stick to the time as much as i can um but this was a quick summary of our work in ukraine uh the ukraine war relief on behalf of world sick parliament and united six um so you have some stats and figures there of over 1 million ukrainians served with 130,000 plus sanitary and dental hygiene kits provided are you watch theek hai ji and um Another big mission of United Six uh, with the work that was happening in Ukraine was the women, elderly and children's heated tent that was being provided which was very much unique to the Medica border there. So when the NGOs and Kazakhstan uh, United Nations and the Ukrainian forces that they were first contact United Six when it came to vulnerable individuals and we were the ones on the ground providing that shelter and support for them. um so more images of the work that was going on um and a few points of the legal advice we providing are repairing the bomb shelters providing the hot meals um and setting up sanitary areas um other ngos were there also a uh, civil organizations such as khalsa aid and swat nishkam uh, also from the uk um few images there from the medica ukraine border on the left was on the medica ukraine side um as you can see the forces were there and very long queues to get over uh in the middle there is one of our other civil dar from Spain United 6 and on the right were the um Polish authorities there that were also working on the ground uh our journey started off from Singh Sabha Darbi Gurdwara um and the National Sikh Museum in Derby um it was a 40 hour drive in our local mini bus that was full of supplies and once we reached the medica border those supplies were offloaded and the work continued there with united 6 um and a big sort of shout out and thank you to the european sangat uh, just when the singh from amsterdam and dutch sikh association from amsterdam also that provided their support on the ground and ongoing supplies uh another big mission that was carried out with united 6 um was the extraction of sroops um so this was when the bombing was going on quite severely in Mariupol um there were troops from a godwara saib in odessa um and obviously um with guru saib and maintaining the respect of the troops there it was a very necessary step for that extraction to take place um so that extraction was carried out by agora sikh who went through united six and gurpal singh of national sikh museum derby Um so those troops came out of Ukraine into Poland and then came to the UK where they're now being housed at the National Sikh Museum until it is safe to return them back to Ukraine. So that was a quick update of a um, very very sort of broad uh, description of the work that's going on there. The work is carrying on there and United Six are also working in Armenia with the exodus going on and also in Manipur where there's a current crisis. But our focus mainly at least my focus for speaking today is to try and analyze and explain um what impact our work there had on the world sick parliament which is the focus of all of our organizations and our respected umbrella organization um so this is what i wanted to try and promote with our talks yesterday amongst ourselves is that with the work that we do in our own personal organizations we should analyze the work we're doing and see how we benefiting our father organization being world sick parliament so with that mindset at the forefront these are some points that i'd come from at least the work that's happening in ukraine is that we were able to first hand develop the world sick parliament media coverage going on there the benefit of this that we portrayed our narrative and how ukraine fits with our own current struggle um it was it was surprising uh, to see the similarities of the struggles that the ukrainian uh, citizens faced and the struggles that we faced for not only since 84 but from many many centuries before that the gulami that we faced and still face today um we established world sick parliament's credibility within the global media space which 
on the third point there allowed for other media outlets um, to uh, collaborate and also work with us to portray our narrative. Uh, another big thing was being able to network with local officials. So uh, image here is of the main Sewadar of World Sikh Parliament and United Six um, with Mayor Oksana Pavuska of the Shaney Town. Uh, hopefully I'll pronounce that correctly, but um, try my best. Uh, so what this allows is for us to legitimize our seat on the world stage and again sort of share that shared experience of the Gulami that, fa that they face currently and what we faced and work in collaboration um, and building those long-lasting political relationships. And also we want to exemplify the selflessness and determination of the Sikh nation, not only for our own struggles but for other marginalized communities. Uh, again, within that point, we furthered relations with governments. So here is just uh, a few images of a meeting that took place with uh, our United Six Sevadar uh, and the Ukrainian President Zelensky's Head of Humanitarian Affairs. And this happened within New York as well. Uh, again, the benefits of this and the effect that held, had on World Sikh Parliament were that we'd be able to further build those strategic relationships and work in collaboration again with the Ukrainians and also learn from their shared experience as well. And the lessons that they learned from their experience that we can kind of take them on board and learn from their experiences. Uh, another big thing was uh, having global media coverage of the work that was going on uh, in Ukraine. Um, but this, these images here are from the media coverage that was provided from uh, focusing on the extraction of the Suroops. So that was with the BBC UK, ITV UK, and BBC Radio 4. Now, with those benefits in mind, we should, yes, celebrate our, our targets being reached and the positives, but we should also look at how, how we should go forward. And this is what I wanted to present in terms of the Welfare Council's vision going forward to next year. Um, so at least the, the first vision point is having a media PD approach, at least that's the term that I coined for it. Uh, a summary of, of this approach is within the action point there. Uh, alongside providing humanitarian aid, we must network and build long-lasting alliances with governments, non-government organizations, charities, media outlets to further the legacy of the Sikh nation and to further establish World Sikh Parliament's world status. Um, we're very good at providing humanitarian aid and working with marginalized communities. And again, like I said before, it's something to celebrate. But we must capitalize within this space also. And we must keep that a long-standing relationship uh, like we're having uh, these uh, very, very well-respected people from Ukraine coming to World Sikh Parliament to speak uh, about their experiences also. Uh, we, our aim as a World Sikh Parliament, again being a parliament of no nation currently, um, we shouldn't feel like we need a geography. We shouldn't feel like we need a physical nation right now. Um, we should work in a way where we can collaborate with other people. Um, but World Sikh Parliament being that strong umbrella organization that has its factions globally in different countries, uh, which I think we're doing a great job, but we should keep that as a focus point going forward. Uh, and I'm hoping that other organizations that within the welfare space use that approach also. Vision point two, uh, I know many other councils and many other individuals have mentioned is promoting youth involvement. Uh, we, we need to reach out to the youth. We need to incentivize their involvement in World Sikh Parliament uh, to help within the political efforts, um, especially skilled youth. I know Saving Punjab are doing amazing work in their educational space when it comes to university outreach, but that's something for the Welfare Council also to capitalize on. So hoping with uh, the help of the Education Council, we can use their strategies of reaching out to six societies, um, setting up competitions like they do in Derby, weightlifting competitions and boxing competitions to have that outreach and build that bridge. Uh, vision number three is sort of a very broad point that can be applied outside of the Welfare Council is that WSP does amazing work um, in especially the education space as mentioned within Saving Punjab and um, within uh, Jigji Singh's work when it comes to 
the seat parenting course and the alignment course. But World State Parliament is a lot bigger than this. We need to think bigger than World State Parliament and providing education. As mentioned before, and I know it can seem like I'm repeating myself, but it's really to drill in that we need to build these alliances to legitimize World State Parliament and further our own mission. Um, I think that was some of that, some of that slide pretty well, but we are very minuscule part when it comes to the bigger picture things in the Bund, but we have the capacity to do amazing work and disrupt these establishments that are not only not only making us Ghulam, but making other nations Ghulam also. Um, and this is the final sort of question I'll leave for everyone. It's a question that I ask myself, is what legacy do we want to leave when it comes to World Sikh Parliament and the work that we're doing? Do we want to be that, that organization where we establish our footprint on the world stage, or do you just want to make ourselves look good to other people? At least from the work that we do in the welfare space, that we want to hear back feedback that aligns and is similar to that seeks a formidable force for change and betterment of the world. They deserve our attention. We want to work with the Sikh nation and their concerns are our concerns. At least that's the things that I would want to hear. But what I've seen that people are happy to hear and to sort of settle at is that they're very good people. They do a lot of charity work. They talk very well and they give out free food. All those very good things, we, like I said, we need to capitalize on the work we're doing and build these alliances that will help us all. So a big thank you to United Six that do a lot of work within the welfare space and a big thank you to World Sikh Parliament for doing amazing work. Um, but like I said, and I'll say for the final time, that World Sikh Parliament is our umbrella organization. It should be our focus. Yes, please, let's all do work. Let's all collaborate together under World Sikh Parliament, but let's work and focus on the furtherment of World Sikh Parliament rather than our own small organizations. Thank you. Why would you Khalsa? Why would you Fateh?